There seems to be a, a collective psychological lament over events overtaking our lives today. The weeping and wailing that's going on within us are for a world that we thought we once knew, thought what we once put our trust in, despite all its uh, flaws. Today no one knows who to turn to or where to turn to for answers to all the problems that's uh, pouring onto our lives where we seem to be, where the people seem to be in distress. And that distress is caused by those who we put in charge to lead and represent our interests to hopefully to a better prosperous lives. But that hope seems to have virtually disappeared overnight and all can, people can see ahead is is fog, doom and gloom, murky waters. There seems to be no way out and the wailing of course is not literal but it's f from uh, people who were broken and trodden down by a system that is broken and one that the rulers will try and give the impression that everything will be okay because they have the answers. Um, it's rather like a parent trying to soothe a child with severe toothache. No matter what you whisper or hold the, the child in your arms to comfort uh, the child from its pain and anguish of the toothache, the toe doesn't disappear and it's the same for us and this is our world at the moment and our present state of reality heartache and anguish have become the best friend of many people so while the G7 leaders go on their annual jolly uh, coming out with announcements to try and show the world uh, they stand up on the big stage with their nice smart suits and big wide smiles telling us that they have it all under control, they have it all in hand, when the reality is they don't. Ladies and gentlemen, they don't. And we can all see that they don't. But they're trying to give the illusion that they do have the answers to solve all our problems. But the problems just seem to be mounting and mounting and mounting and getting worse, don't they? In every aspect of our lives, not just in one little piece, every single aspect of our lives. So the metaphorical weeping and wailing of people goes on. The unrest and confusion abounds as people begging or looking for a solution to all these problems. But the leaders in their phony smiles proudly proclaim <laughs> they will do this, they will do that. And what it usually means is they will usually put more laws and restrictions upon the people to solve the problems. But well, surely that isn't the answer. So where are the answers to make our lives better, to make our lives more wholesome and complete, uh, to make us to make more joy, to bring joy and peace into our lives, because that's surely that's all we're looking for. We're all looking for peace <coughs> and contentment away from all this doom and gloom and pressure. It's mounting pressure and fear upon the people non-stop. And they are loving it. That is the problem. But one chink of light might be Joy does come in the morning from suffering. A new day when the sun rises and the light shines in the darkness once again. We can look forward to the light lighting up our lives once again. And we can find happiness, peace, joy and contentment. Despite everything what they say and despite everything what they're trying to do uh, to society. So through the heartache and anguish, a new heart can arise 
a new mindset, renewed with a new perspective and a new purpose can arise out from the ashes of doom and gloom. And it won't be the politicians that do it, it'll be us, the people, who will come out from the darkness, out from the shadows. Because we refuse to live like that, we refuse to live in fear, we refuse to live in darkness, we refuse the doom and gloom that they're bestowing upon us, upon the people, upon our children. So that which we are experiencing right now, folks, is that you have been showing there is a, shown a better way is coming in which we can live our lives properly, which is not dependent upon riches, dependent on how much money you can save, how much stuff you can gather. This isn't where the true peace and happiness comes from. And we've stopped looking at the politicians to give us this joy, peace, contentment, because it don't exist in this fake reality that we're living in. But we can find a more meaningful way with each other, where we can look after each other and look up to each other, and not the rich and famous and celebrities and all these folks who are just creating more and more doom and gloom as time goes by. This takes courage to leave behind mentally and emotionally a life which made, uh, made us dependent upon other people who we put in charge to create a, fa a phony and fake happiness and a fake reality. And when we awaken to the truth of all things, it is then we can begin to find the true happiness from within us and each other. So I'm here to tell you that the, the doom and gloom, the heartache and the anguish, which may be your best friend at the minute in whatever situation you're in, is only for a moment, for a time. As long as you take your eye off what they are trying to do is, uh, and give solutions to. Because that happiness can only come from within you. And it doesn't depend on how much money you've got. How big a house you got. How you're a nice, uh, fantastic £40,000 electric car, wherever it is. Your true happiness doesn't come from those things. And this is what we're beginning to realise in the awakening up of, of our of our hearts, our true selves. And we and we turn away from what the system has to offer because the system is just collapsing. So take heed, people. Heartache and anguish is only for a while. Joy comes in the morning. <laughs>